hello guys welcome to bosons botany and in this video i am starting with z dna which is another type of dna and it is recently discovered form of dna and also i will differentiate b and z dna so this is the structure of a typical z dna the structure is similar uh, with that of b dna but there are some minor differences which you need to remember first is the anti clockwise rotation anti clockwise rotation of the coil or the polynucleotide chains this is the anti clockwise rotation or the left hand side rotation this is the first difference now helix rise which was uh, basically the distance between two um, base pairs or between two nucleotide pairs is 3.7 armstrong but it was 4.5 in case of b dna now pitch of the helix that is length of one complete turn is 45 armstrong but it was um 34 armstrong in case of b dna now if i count number of sugars in uh, one group or in uh, one loop then there are total 6 sugars in one uh, group or 12 sugars in one uh, total turn so 1 2 3 4 5 6 here also 1 2 3 4 5 6 so total of 12 sugars in one turn so basically how many uh, number of uh, nucleotide base uh, nucleotide pairs there will be 12 nucleotide pairs or 12 base pairs per turn but it was 10 in case of b dna so only acha one more thing the diameter is 18 armstrong in z dna it was 20 armstrong in b dna so once again rotation is anti clockwise or left hand turn rotation diameter 18 armstrong helix rise 3.7 armstrong pitch of the helix 45 armstrong one turn will have 12 base pairs now the differences but before i start the strands are anti parallel here as well so you will get 5 prime to 3 prime direction and also 3 prime to 5 prime direction of uh, the two nucleotide or the two polynucleotide chains now the differences so b dna z dna first b dna helix sense or the uh, direction of rotation of these strands is anti clockwise sorry is clockwise in case of b dna that is right hand side turn but in case of z dna it is anti clockwise or left hand side rotation diameter in b dna is 20 armstrong but it is 18 in z arms uh, z dna helix rise in b dna is 3.4 armstrong but it is 3.7 armstrong in z dna pitch of the helix in case of b dna is 34 armstrong it is 45 armstrong in z dna number of base pairs in one turn in case of b dna is 10 and number of base pairs are 12 in z dna this point is very important and it is very unique orientation of nucleotide pairs with their sugars is in the same direction for b dna which means if you remember the chemical composition of dna or the b dna the sugar orientation or the nucleotide pairs were arranged along the same direction in one turn 
uh, or in one direction and uh, for the uh, or you can say in 5 prime to 3 prime direction the nucleotide uh, pairs with their sugar have similar orientation and in case of 3 prime to 5 prime direction the orientation was downwards but they were aligned uh, you know towards the same direction so this is the sugar ribose sugar at carbon number 1 a nitrogenous base is attached uh, the 3 prime uh, carbon has the phosphodiester linkage which is uh, bonded with the 5 prime carbon of the second sugar here but in case of ZDNA, the direction is just the opposite. Here also, at one carbon, we have the base pair. Now, three carbon will have phosphodiester linkage, which will attach with the carbon number four of the next sugar. But in this case, it was the bond between three prime carbon to five prime carbon. But here, the bond is between three prime to four prime carbon rest will be similar only the direction of two sugars or the two nucleo uh, nucleotide bases will be opposite in ZDNA and towards the same direction or same orientation in BDNA so in my next video I will uh, take up the topic uh, like Chargaff rule and uh, some more related topics thank you